Here we're given a signal in the time domain and we're asked for the sampling frequency and we're told that this is three times the Nyquist rate. So I guess we would first need to find the Nyquist rate and then multiply it by three. So the sampling rate is three times the Nyquist rate. And the Nyquist rate would be two times the highest frequency component in the signal. And here we see that we have four components. We have a DC term, and then we have three sinusoids. And what we're looking for is the sinusoid with the highest frequency. So the highest frequency would be this one here. So this has the highest frequency. And the frequency is the, the, um, the coefficient of t in radians per second. So we could say f max equals 300 pi divided by 2 pi. And if you use that to find the Nyquist rate and then multiply that by 3, that will give you your answer to part a. So that will be 3 times 300 is 900. So that's 900 hertz. OK, let me just check that. So the pi goes with the pi, 2 with the 2, 3 times 3. So that's 900 hertz. So that's um, for part A. For part B, it wants the time between samples. So that's easy. The sample time is just 1 over the sample rate. So it's just 1 over 900 seconds. Now to find the part C, that's the 100th sample. So we would have to rewrite x of t as a discrete time signal. So x of n x equals x of n ts. So in that case, x of 100 is x of 100 times 1 over 900. And then you calculate that, and then you put that number in the calculator and substitute for t once, two times, three times. And then that'll give you the answer there. Now make sure your calculator is in radians when you do this, okay? Otherwise you'll get you'll get uh, completely incorrect um, uh, numbers. So the answer I got to two significant figures was seven point four.